Welcome to CBS 19 10 at 10 with Randy Lynn and Lisa Spooner, John Adams with weather, and Mike Alzamora with sports. Your 10 minutes of uninterrupted news starts now. Immune function, like everything else, declines as we age, leading to an increased chance of getting sick. But there is hope, and it comes in the form of a booster. So Dr. Kenneth Stevenson is here to tell us about that. I mean, that kind of surprised me. Yes, I think it's a very exciting study. Well, tell us about it. I wanted to highlight it today. Uh, this was done at Yale University, but it looked at an ancient treatment or ancient remedy in Japan for longevity as well as for cancer. We know that about 77% of all cancers are diagnosed in people that are 50 or older. So as the immune system declines, they're more vulnerable to not just infections, but also cancers. And the extract comes from mushrooms. Really? And the abbreviation is AHCC. It's active hexose co correlated compound, but it's a hybrid of shiitake mushrooms. And when they gave it to healthy elderly, they saw a boost in the immune system. No wow. kidding. So, this, so you're not as susceptible to colds and flu and all this other stuff? Correct. And, and in my research, I discovered that all patients admitted to hospitals in Japan are placed on this extract just as a preventive measure during their hospitalization, during whatever your, their age. During your study, did you find that there were any side effects? I found a very, very few side effects or drug interactions, so it appears to be safe. About 50,000 patients in Japan are on this. Wow. Nausea was the only one that was mm. significant. In a pill form or an injection? It's, it's or? in a liquid or a capsule form. Okay. Uh, is this something that's available here yet? or It is available through physicians or through pharmacies. So if the patient is interested, I would have them talk with their personal physician or pharmacist about getting it. And the trade name is Immunokiniko, but AHCC is what they need to remember, or mushroom extract. And you can get that right now? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. Uh, that's been a well-kept secret. No kidding. Was well, there a certain age group that uh, seemed to be more beneficial with this study? Right. I would say that really 50 and older is who I would recommend it for as a preventive measure. Now, certainly if they have, have some sort of immune deficiency, if they have HIV, if they have cancer, uh, some of the cancer data from Japan looks very good. And with the potential for harm being low, it would interest me in that patient group, whatever their age. Are, are you seeing then, a lot, when you mentioned HIV, are you seeing a lot of usage uh, as a treatment for HIV and AIDS? I would say not a treatment mm -hmm. uh, de facto, but as an adjunctive therapy okay. because it improves their CD4, CD8 counts. And some of the studies in mushroom extracts are going on at MD Anderson wow. in those types of patients. What about someone like me who's, you know, not 50, but, you know, boosting an immune system is always good, like around flu season. And yes, I think it, they've, they've looked at this in workers in healthcare settings or people that through travel might be more susceptible. So a few doses wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, great. Couldn't hold it. No <laughs> kidding. Thank if you, you have any much. questions for Dr. Kenna, you can email us at primetime at cbs19.tv. We will pass those along. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, ma'am. All right.